a festival of words, stories, and ideas that can take the form of books, performances, drama, and other art forms. That's how the Bocas Lit Fest sums up the entire event. Marketing and media manager Alette Liz Williams says, There are many storytellers in this year's event, and every year the festival gets bigger and better. As of this year, there are 150 participants. We are from the Caribbean and from five continents. And we also have eight events. So it's in that eight events of what you would find all of those different moving parts happening in. Um, this year is also the first year that we've had so many critically acclaimed, highly um, awarded participants. So we have Edwidge Danticart, who is the chief judge of the OCM Bocas Book Prize for Caribbean Literature. We have Dion Brand, who is a big deal. Um, she is going to be in a special event at the Big Black Box on Friday evening, where there will also be, and don't let anybody know that I told you, Three Canal will be performing. So if you haven't seen them, you can see them for free. <laughs> and we have uh, so many other really big names. Miss Williams says, there is something for everyone at the Bocas Lit Festival. So in the festival, we have a mix of workshops. There is film, there is drama, there is music. Uh, there are debate sessions, big idea discussions, um, film screening. So we don't just do literature in the Shakespeare that everybody thinks that it is. Literature manifests in so many different ways. And once you check out our program, you would realize that there are so many different ways that you can engage with the festival. And with just four days of activities starting on April 25th, how do the organizers of the Bocas Lit Festival plan to schedule these activities for both adults and children, one might ask? Well, the Children's Festival kicks off the this year's NGC Bogus Lit Fest. So that begins on the 25th of April at City Hall and then moves over into the National Library on Abercrombie Street in Port of Spain. So that will be running simultaneously with the adult festival just in different parts of the library and then we have other events that will be happening in satellite spaces around Port of Spain. Zoning in on the children's event the children's caravan has been around the country on its school tour since March 7th. Manager of the children's program, Melvina Hazard, says the event is accessible to everyone, adding that the festival is a safe space for children to feel free and to express themselves creatively while discovering their own talent. A child might think that they don't like literature because of how it's presenting to them in school. Our mission is to really promote the love of reading so that children can really realize that reading is really a pleasurable activity that takes you through time and space. So we are wheelchair accessible, we have sign language translations at City Hall, we also have like what we call a comfort zone for um, children if they feel overwhelmed by all the noise and activity so that they can go and have a quiet place and we also have a well-being team because we want every child that's attending this festival to feel comfortable and to feel welcome. The star of the NGC's children's Bocas Lit Fest, Dragon Zelly, says she's looking forward to seeing all the children at this year's event. I'm looking forward to the workshops and music, especially Miss Nyla Blackman Ooh. will be at the festival, and Zachary Ransom, and I'm looking forward to meeting Corinne Anaya Clark again, as well as all the children from all over the country. All the events are free at Nullis, but there's a small fee attached for those who want to take part in the workshop activities. And the first Citizens Grand Slam Poetry Competition carded for April 28th at Queen's Hall. For more information, you can visit the website at www.bogoslitfest.com. Charlotte Kisto, TV6 News.